What's good? Welcome back over to the channel. Today is the highly anticipated video of my rap reveal and rap install on the 2022 Summit. This winter, Deviant Inc. is sponsoring me in the channel. So obviously, the rap we are installing is from Deviant Inc. Not only did Deviant Inc. help me out by sending this rap out to me, they are going to help you guys out too. They are nice enough to offer us a promo code for the channel. I'm going to throw it up on the screen right here and also put it in the description. So if you're looking to get your sled wrap this season, head over to Deviant Inc.'s website. You could design just about any kind of wrap you want with about any color on their website. You could throw whatever logos you want on it and the best part is they are willing to give us a promo code so you guys can get some money off of your wrap i want to say a huge thank you to deviant inc for sponsoring me and the channel this year it is a huge blessing and i'm so thankful to be working with you guys with all that being said i think it is now time i show you guys my wrap because i'm beyond stoked to show this to you guys and i've been hiding it for a while so here it is this is my wrap for 2022 it is like a teal mint and like an aqua blue color scheme with white logos absolutely sick the quality is insane and my favorite part about this wrap is hopefully the camera could pick it up let me see yes it can metallic flake guys this goes absolutely crazy the entire sled is done in this metallic flake and yeah this is by far my favorite part of this wrap you guys just look at this this color is gonna look so sick on here dvd offers a bunch of different types of finishes you can do a metallic flake i believe there's a gold metallic flake there's a matte a satin a gloss and they just came out with like the holographic ones too so a bunch of different options there provided to you by dv and ink and i decided to go with the metallic flake just because that's something i've always wanted and i thought it would look really good with this color scheme and i was not wrong it looks it looks absolutely sick so let's hop into this install because I cannot wait to see this on the sled. First step here is we got to strip all the decals off of here. So we got the heat gun. We're going to use this, strip all these decals. Luckily, these skidoos don't come with too many decals, so we don't have a lot of work there as far as prep. Once the decals are stripped, we got to go ahead and use rubbing alcohol and clean the whole sled so that the wrap sticks nice and good to the sled. I do want to remove these link brackets too because I think you're going to have to remove these. But other than that, there really isn't too much I should have to remove on here. It's just remove decals. Clean it with some rubbing alcohol and start piecing her together. Guys, it's looking like we might have to remove this rear bumper in order to get these stickers off and probably in order to install the wrap. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Just like that. All right, now that we got the bumper off, the link brackets off, it is time to go ahead and remove all these stickers. I'm gonna throw you guys on time lapse because you really don't need to watch me take stickers off. It's pretty self-explanatory. And yeah, uh, let the process begin. Riding, rolling, drinking, smoking. That's something I do. I've been hiding all of my emotions. Finally got all the decals off the sled. Most of them came off pretty nice on this texture surface. They definitely came off nice. Just need a little bit of goo gone there. Skidoo on the hood did not come off nice at all, so that's gonna need some goo gone. And a majority of the stickers on the tunnel came off pretty easy as well. One little trick though, on this textured stuff, if you wanna remove this sticky stuff easily, save these warning label stickers, use a heat gun, heat up the adhesive that's left on the sled, and take the back of this sticker to go like this, and it will actually pick the adhesive off for you, so you gotta do less work. Now that all the stickers are off, I am about to do the worst part of the process and go around and remove all the leftover adhesive with some goo gone. Then once that's done, spray the sled down with rubbing alcohol. Then once that's done, we can start installing the wrap. So far, what I've found what works best to remove the leftover adhesive is just this spray bottle of goo gone, a microfiber towel. And what I've been doing is I've been going around on the side I'm working on, spraying it, letting it soak, and then coming back with the rag and rubbing it off. Most of the adhesive comes off pretty well that way. If you try to just spray it and wipe it, it's not gonna come off. This side of the sled is completely stripped and all the adhesive's off. Just gotta do that side of the sled, spray it with rubbing alcohol, and then we are on our way to installing this wrap. Nothing I do. I've been rolling around, I've been rolling around. That's something I do. I've been rolling around. All the stickers are off, all the adhesive's off. We've cleaned the sled twice with rubbing alcohol. Now it is time to actually go ahead and install the wrap. You guys are getting ready to install your wrap. I'd say 24 to 48 hours beforehand, lay out your wrap, because it comes in a roll. You wanna lay it out and let it just get flat. Cause if you try to put this on while they're still curved from being rolled, what I did was I laid them out in the basement like this a couple days ago to kind of let them warm up and get flat. Then I brought them into the garage and now it is time to start installing them. Now for installation, you want your garage or wherever you're installing this to be about 60, 70 degrees. Right now I have my garage at 70 degrees. 
That's gonna be the optimal temperature to make the wrap stick. If you try to do it when it's too cold, these pieces might not stick or they're gonna fall off just because the adhesive's cold and it's trying to stick to a cold sled and that just doesn't work. Oh, so you wanna make sure you're at about 70 degrees, make sure your sled is 100% prepped and ready. And since we are at 70 degrees and the sled is prepped and ready, it is time to go ahead and install the wrap. I've been rolling around. That's something I do. I've been riding, rolling, drinking, smoking. That's something I do. I've been hiding all of my little progress update. So I've got most of the tunnel done. It's actually looking really good. Just have to go over it with the heat gun, get any bubbles out, smooth it out, and pretty much press the wrap into these indents. This side as well, looking pretty good. Got this done here, the hood's done, part of the console's done. It's coming along, I've been going at it for about two hours and it's pretty much been just me. I've had some people help me lay some of the bigger pieces on so I don't mess it up. But overall, it's been just me. And I have, I think, one sheet completely done. That sheet's got one sticker left. This one's looking full. This one's looking full. And this one's still looking pretty full. So we have a little bit of a ways to go here, but not too bad. I've been trying to follow the install guide here and just kind of going off of where I know pieces are gonna go. I can kind of look at some of these bigger pieces and be like, yeah, that's where it's gonna be. I figured I'd just fill in the gaps after I put the pieces on that I know for sure where they go. Emotions, that's something I do. I've been rolling around, I've been rolling around. That's something I do. I've been rolling around, I've been rolling around. That's something I do. Pull up in the drop top. Make a top drop, palm trees on the beach, what do I got? Little money in my pocket and some pop rocks. I'm coolin', tell her I'm no hot shot. If you just tryna smoke, well I got spots. If you just tryna, well I'm about that. Next day here, I ended up finishing the wrap last night, and yeah, I was just tired at the end of that, so I went straight to sleep. But um, I got the garage open right now, and um, I'm looking over the wrap, and it is absolutely insane. You guys are gonna love the colors, and you guys are gonna love the metallic flake on here. Let me show you. Well guys, here it is, my wrap for 2022, and this is by far my favorite wrap I have done thus far. And keep in mind guys, we are gonna have white bars, white bumpers, we're putting a seat cover on, which is sitting right there. I got the bumpers there. We still have a bunch of access to go to complement the white, and it is gonna look absolutely insane. Guys, I am so impressed with this wrap from Deviant Inc., and I am so glad I went with this color scheme. It looks just absolutely insane. Let's see if the camera can pick up on the metallic flake. Oh, yeah, it can. In person, it looks even better than it does on camera, but oh my God, this metallic flake is insane when the sun hits it. Last night when I was doing this in the garage, I only had the lights of the garage shining down, so you really didn't get a good look at how strong the metallic flake is in this. But when the sun hits it, looks absolutely amazing, and I cannot imagine this sled on the snow, how great the metallic flake would look, but oh my god, guys. I am so, so happy I went with this wrap. So happy I went with this color, the metallic flake. I am beyond thankful to be working with Deviant Ink this season. The sled is coming along great. We have a few short weeks before it is time for the first ride of the season. So we got a lot of work to do on this sled in a short amount of time. I shut the garage so you guys can get a better view of the sled, because I think the sun was causing a lot of shadows. And guys, just check this color out. It's like a dark teal, mint, and like an aqua blue color scheme. So you're something completely different than what I'm used to. Usually I run the lime and purple type deal. I wanted to be different. I wanted to switch it up. And I am beyond glad I did because when this thing hits the snow with its white accessories, this wrap, and the metallic flake, it is gonna be undeniably mine. There is no way you're gonna be able to miss me. If you guys see my sled up north, do not be shy to go up to it and check it out because this metallic flake is something you gotta see in person. And yeah, it is it is amazing. The fit and finish on the Deviant Ink wrap is the best I have seen. All the pieces went on flawlessly. I mean, look at this. It looks absolutely amazing. Wraps nice and thick, so you know it's durable. The adhesive is extremely strong, so when you guys are placing your wraps on your sleds, be quick with it and make sure you put it in the right place the first time because getting it off is an absolute pain. But overall, guys, the sled is coming along amazing. We still have a long ways to go, but the wrap being on is one of the main things that I wanted to do first. The sled is coming along amazing. We still have a long way to go in terms of parts, but this is a step in the right direction.
Once again, I want to give a huge thank you to Deviant Inc. for sponsoring me and the channel this season. I'm going to put the promo code on the screen once again and also put it in the bio along with a link to their website. Head over to Deviant Inc.'s website and start customizing your sled today, guys. There is a endless amount of colors, endless amount of wrap styles, all the logos you can imagine, and a bunch of different types of finishes for your wrap. That is going to be a wrap on today's video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the Deviant Inc. wrap installation. If you guys have questions on choosing a wrap or installing a wrap, do not be afraid to reach out to me. I will help you guys out the best I can. If you guys like today's video, smash a huge thumbs up on today's video. Comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of my color decision and my wrap choice for the 2022 season. Guys, we are so close to 20,000 subscribers. If you guys have been watching for a while or you're new here and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys in the next video. What Peace I'm out. About that. Yeah, baby, I'm chilling. I'm in my bag, no feelings. Train with a lime. Why you so fine? Get it to me once I need it one more.